Have you ever 3D printed one of these collapsible swords and been a little bit disappointed with their length? Well, I know I have. The images always make them look so much bigger than they actually are in real life. Huh. So why would I make a sword with length, if uh, you know what I'm saying? To make a sword, you must first be the sword. That's why I'm going to explain this segment with buckets. Buckets. You see, buckets primarily nest into each other because of something called a draft angle. Honestly, this nesting feature was probably secondary to the fact that it needed to be released from an injection molding tool, but hey, it works to our advantage. I mean, this does allow them to stack to infinity, essentially. And my sword's gonna need the power of infinity, so we're gonna borrow some of this bleeding edge bucket technology and apply it to what we're doing. These collapsible swords are essentially designed all the same way, essentially with a chain of buckets with no tops and no bottoms interconnecting to each other. And they all have something in common, a very, very slight draft angle. Let me explain draft angles really quickly to you with my own design. How it works is that there is a slight angle between all of these nested shells. When one inner shell moves up, it's eventually going to contact the outer shell so that we can add strength to the overall sword while still maximizing how far it can extend. So now that I've optimized for everything, let's just 3D print it and reap the benefits immediately. All right, here's version one. Okay. And... Hmm, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's normally longer than that. I'm just gonna put that out there. This has never happened to me before. Okay, let's tweak some of the variables. Let's add a little bit more spacing. Let's uh, change that angle slightly. Uh, right here's version two, a little bit shorter, just to make sure that we can actually extend it properly. Uh, it's a little bit better proportionally. It's not great though. All right, version three. Better. Okay, version four. Oh my god. God damn it. Nine iterations later. Okay, version eight dash three. This should this should work. Ooh. That's nice. Huh. That actually uh worked? I mean I mean Let's go, yeah! First try of the ninth attempt. Okay, so now that the core concept is working, we gotta make it look like a, I, I don't know, more, more like a sword? So let's do that. And a quick print to make sure it works. Woo. And that all works well. Surprising. But it's still not long enough. I think we could go even longer. So let's take it to my larger format 3D printer and print those segments in 40 centimeter chunks. Oh, holy Jesus, each one of these takes about 40 hours to print just because I put it on the finest settings. We're gonna be here for a while. See you in about a week, I guess. Oh yeah, this one's done. Holy. Oh, that doesn't even fit on camera. Too bad. It's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, yes, and it's done. Oh, God. Oh, geez, man. Jesus. This whole thing is going to go together with all of these things. How long is this going to be? All right, assembly time. But you know what? It's still not long enough. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Is this long enough? As if my mind wasn't already made up. We're going longer. 
given the sheer length of what we're going for here, I had an idea cooking at the back of my brain of making the handle extend as well, just so we can hold it better. A general rule of thumb for everything I'm doing here, if it has girth, it's extendable. Now to build on the core concept of the extending sword, we're gonna have to extend in like two directions essentially. I mean, it was already kind of doing that, but now it's gonna do that to the extreme where there's gonna be a mid piece kind of joined hard together and then two extending pieces out from that mid piece. Doubling essentially the length of what our original sword was. Oh, and you know, fixing some of those issues where it extends and pops out. Well, that's bad. This adds a lot of function to what I'm going for. So let's print that off. One eternity later. These things took so long to 3D print. Look, my beard came in. That's crazy, man. Everything was going so well with the first three pieces. And then we got to the fourth piece. And I forgot to hit record. Wait, I wasn't recording? <laughs> God damn it. So there was a power outage. And uh, yeah, that happened when I tried to pull it off the bed. All right, we're just gonna do a dramatic reenactment of uh, what happened. Here we go, here we go, ready? Oh no, that's not good. You know, just wasting 84 hours of print time. Oh, that's the worst. Well, nothing like printing it again. Hooray. Look. Another, what's it saying? 53 hours. Uh. One eternity later. So we have all the pieces now. Let's just slap them together but like really fast more or less the whole assembly was pretty simple it was just a lot of glue for the most part however to join the longer segments together i left some holes in the 3d print so that i could stick a 5 16 threaded rod in there with a lot of glue just to add a little bit more rigidity so let's see the difference between the first print and the second print first story Freaking long is this thing? It's like a fish. Is it long enough? Actually, you know what? I, th I think it is. I, th I think it's long enough. See, the longer you go, there's just a lot more pressure on the individual joints and you end up uh, snapping it. Not that that happened at all. 
Okay, it might have happened just a little bit. Okay, it might have happened again. Oh. <gasps> that could have worked. Uh, if I had 3D printed it with thicker walls, I think these walls are like 1.6 millimeters, something like that. If I doubled that, it might work, but they're horizontal layer lines, so they're always going to snap that way. Uh, so, I could 3D print it again, but I might take another two weeks. So, I'm probably not going to do that, but I'd say that's a success. This was a really fun project, and I think uh, 13 feet is about the bounds of the capabilities of what you can do reasonably on a 3D printer for a collapsible sword. And as always, I've been your captain, and I hope you enjoyed your journey. Mm -hmm.